Welcome to the Two Ton Nerds. As always, my name is Max James. It's October 4th, 2018, which means it's day four of the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project, year seven, and today's movie is Life. Now, before I jump into telling you what you need to know about this movie, I want to tell you what my initial opinion was when the final credit appeared upon the screen, and it was that I really liked this movie. Despite it being very similar to Ridley Scott's Alien, I thought this movie was really good. I thought the acting from Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds and Rebecca Ferguson, I thought they all did a really good job in this movie. Now, that, I think that was really my only biggest complaint was that it was kind of too similar, but at the same time, you, there was enough differences that made it stand out to me that warranted at least a few more viewings afterwards. Now, what I liked about this movie a lot was the alien itself, because the other aliens have very humanistic creature uh features like arms legs uh even maybe even the ability to talk or um uh, human empathy or or like the ability to do anything that's kind of very that's very human characteristics or um that has very like emotional feelings and stuff like that kind of, so we can actually bond with this character with this or relate to this creature on screen where the creature in this movie is just straight up a life form that has no face the no arms no legs in the traditional sense it has tentacles esque so it feels like a true alien and the what I really liked about it is that it's not a very big alien so the threat of it being in this very claustrophobic setting makes it even better because it's so small. Even though it kind of gets bigger as the movie goes along, but it doesn't get too big where it outshines the um, the the setting of the movie. Where like in um, Alien, where it's very, it gets to about human size, a little bigger than human size, but it doesn't feel like it's being too big for the setting. So that's what I liked about life. It, it fit perfect. Now, and also with this movie, the alien actually has the ability to, it's very strong. It's very, the size is very uh, misleading, which I really loved as well. There's some really good moments. I think there's a moment in the trailer that shows, like this is a force to be reckoned with when it kind of breaks the guy's hand when he's doing some testing on it and it's like oh okay that's what really sold me on this movie really so now i'm going to jump into telling you what you need to know about this movie and first up is the plot well the plot basically like i said is very similar to alien where it's just a bunch of astronauts on a space station and they happen to come across an alien life form and stuff kind of just goes to hell so <laughs> But, like I said, the difference is, is the alien itself, what makes the setting same, but the outcome and the circumstances a little bit different. So, and what I liked about this particular alien, it actually kind of feeds off the crew. It doesn't, it's not out to kill them all right off the bat. It It's really like, oh, he, the, he, this, um, for alien life form actually kind of needs these people to survive and what makes this movie even better is that they actually talk about uh earth like they're just circling earth in a space station like because it's like at least set in modern times where it's not too where it's feasible for people living in space but not too far out in the space so it's they actually kind of start to like um, weigh the like we need to kill this thing before it makes its way to Earth because we have no idea what's going to happen when it makes it to Earth because just by the few um, interactions with it on the space station. So now I don't want to spoil it, but there is some good, really good scare factor moments in this where or like blood and guts and that's kind of i'm kind of lumping that all the same because they all kind of happen all at once the blood and guts kind of happen when the scares happen 
or when the intense moments happen on screen. And I do, I think I, I'll give them a good solid four out of five when it comes to all that kind of stuff. But it's like pretty intense moments or like, oh my God, it's like how long has this particular, the life form has been attached to this thing this entire time or where is it going to pop out? I rich, that's kind of cheesy, but it it's kind of warranted in this kind of film. So um, that's about it. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to tell you my rating scale for this movie. One being run of the mill horror two best watch with a group three more than average horror, but as nothing new through the horror genre Four being helps move the horror genre forward and five being a horror classic. Now, I hate to say this, but it's really truly just run in the mill. It it's by the numbers like alien life form on a spaceship, um, killing its crew, and they have to survive. So, but it's enough to be different. Where it, I definitely recommend it. I think it's really fun to watch. Even though I think. If you have a few people who like to watch these kind of movies, I think it's a two as well. It's it's kind of, well, it's definitely run in the mill, but it's also best watched with a group. So it's about one point five, honestly. So that is all I have to say for life. As always, my name is Max James, coming from the basement. As always, and I'm going to go geek out. <laughs>